It's, thank God, in the chamber area, there's not a great deal to do. Um, I had to start up here and cut all that out to unshroud it because it got real close to the valve being we're putting a 2.250 in it. And then, uh, as you can see, where the green is past the lines, there's a little chunk there to take out. But overall, it's really not bad at all. That's why these heads are so good is, you know, they're unshrouded. Now, true, they're big combustion chamber volume, but a small 150 dome in that area will put these at a hair under 10 to 1 compression, making them a perfect street head or a flat top and make a hell of a blower head. All right, so let's just go ahead and carve this a little bit out. Notice I'm going to a flame. right there uh, takes care of it. There's, I've already ground the chamber and took it to the first layer of metal getting it ready for a full polish. There's a couple of little humps along the way. But I mean, other than that little bit of prep, these chambers are about ready to go out of the box. So, all right, let's go ahead and um, we'll go to the next part, which is going to be, um, I'll show you the entrances, how I square them off. I've already done, this is a highlight thing uh, of the 781 Overport or the 049. Just showing you a few of the things I, that I've done along the way because, um, this customer is very special to me. Drove all the way from Arizona just to come here to pick up his heads. He just got here late yesterday evening. Of course, he wanted to add a couple of things that never fails. He wanted me to fill the heads with crossovers and a couple of other tricks. So he's camped out my front yard. He's an 18-wheeler, and he enjoyed just coming here and talking with me. More on that deal a little bit later. Very special customer. and. Just doing a highlights.